Hi everyone, been a while since I showed any bars and I've been picking them up here and there and we'll get round to them at some stage but uh, these are two wee crackers silver bugs in space uh, as you know there's enough wonder for me in the real world without uh, the real universe without worrying about supernatural stuff and so this is a, a cracker you'll all have seen this one I'm sure before this is a stunning, stunning proof finish and I don't know if you can see it, but even the reflection on the, the astronaut's mask is just incredible. So I've had this for a wee while and um, you know anything to do with astronomy, anything to do with physics, I love, great interest. And so when I found the second one, I just couldn't resist it. I'd never seen it before. Just stumbled over it. Same reverse. But wait till you see this. Birth of silver with a supernova explosion. Basically, supernovae are the way that all of the elements got scattered around the universe. So uh, if it wasn't for these massive explosions, well we wouldn't be here because we're all made of stardust. But that uh, most wonderful of all the elements that we just love and cherish, silver, wouldn't have gotten here. Silver, like all the heavy elements, was created in the hearts, the cores of stars, billions of light years away. And uh, supernova explosions can happen, I think, in two different ways. If you have binary stars, so two stars orbit in one single point and one slightly bigger will draw the matter from the second one and eventually get too heavy. It won't be able to cope and it'll explode, creating one of these supernova explosions. And the other type enjoying the physics lesson <laughs> occurs when a supermassive uh, star just gets to the end of its life starts running out of fuel and what's left is pulled into the core and the core gets too heavy collapses on itself can't uh, co cope with its own uh, gravitational pull but then explodes and again scatters all of the elements that we know throughout the galaxy, throughout the universe in fact. And that's how silver and all of the other elements got here. And that's why we contain silver and lots of other elements. So for me this bar with the words birth of silver, yeah, it's just spectacular. I love it. Proud of place. I enjoy collecting one ounce bars, but I've never come across one as stunning as this one. And as I say, for somebody that um, loves science, loves physics, and um, yeah, loves the rational, this is just truly spectacular. So a couple of one ounce bars, if we want to come back down to earth as it were, two more ounces added to the stack, which is always good regardless of where you believe it comes from <laughs> and um, uh, as I say uh, the, the, the silver bugs one with the, the astronaut on it is beautiful enough I'd seen that one plenty of times before seems to be I wouldn't say common but easy enough to get but this one is just truly spectacular anyway let me know what you think let me know what you think of my grasp of physics <laughs> And uh, please uh, like the the, uh, the video, please subscribe if you haven't already. But most importantly, as I say, let me know what you think of them. Uh, are they just two bits of silver or do they tell a bigger story? Till the next time, take care. Bye-bye.